Welcome to Season of the Melee, because it seems just about everybody is getting in on that sweet fisticuffs action. Today, I'll be showing you Arc Striders how to fully take advantage of the power of the electric punch with a new build using Liar's Handshake, the newly buffed combination blow, and a very strong perk you should definitely not sleep on. The build today, guys, is called the One Punch, and this has got to be one of my all-time favorites. If you want to feel powerful and you want to embody the spirit of an enraged titan, well, here's how to do it. The very first thing you need here is Top Tree Arc Strider. We're going to be taking full advantage of three of the perks in this tree, Combination Blow, Combat Flow, and Deadly Reach. Combination Blow was recently buffed, and now by getting three kills with your charged melee, you can stack it up to three times, giving you a 60% damage buff per stack in PvE, on top of starting health regen. To get our charged melee back, we can utilize Gambler's Dodge so that when we use the class ability near an enemy, we instantly get our melee charge back and just dodging in general gives us that extra melee range. This synergizes perfectly with the combat flow perk so that getting a melee kill will instantly grant us our dodge. That's a big part of this tree is the loop of dodging and meleeing enemies and you can do this forever as long as you have enemies to kill. And the thing about combat blow is it's very easy to use because the buff lasts for 20 seconds. You have tons of time to run around and find enemies to melee and then dodge and then melee. It's very easy and very strong. So that's already awesome, but it's only a small part of our equation here. We're going to add in Liar's Handshake next, which is a brand new Joker's Wild exotic. Its intrinsic perk is called Cross Counter, and it reads, Using your arc melee ability or being hit by a melee attack will allow you to follow up with an extremely powerful melee counter punch that will heal you. This thing is very strong, and it actually stacks with Combination Blow. So not only are you getting health regen from the Top Tree perk and Liar's Handshake, but you're also getting increased damage from both as well. More healing and more damage. It's never a bad combo. Now, Cross Counter doesn't last nearly as long as Combination Blow, only staying active for 3 seconds. The nice thing though is that it can be procced immediately after it disappears, and there's no cooldown period. So if you use your melee or an enemy melees you, well, you're good to go. So we're stacking combination blow and cross counter for an insane damage buff. Just using the top tree arc strider with Liar's Handshake can pretty much insta-kill any elite enemy in most activities. It's really become my go-to setup, allowing me to live the life of a titan in a hunter's body. It's ridiculous. You can punch everything and then dodge and then keep punching. Health regen and extra damage makes you unstoppable. But what if we want to do more damage? Like, I'm talking about being able to kill mini-bosses and full-on bosses with one single punch. Well, that's where the new perk 1-2 Punch comes in. This perk, while maybe not required for this build, is essential for ascending your damage to unheard of levels. Like, I'm talking so much damage from one punch that it's the type of stuff a titan has wet dreams about. So we're busting out the Gambit Prime Shoddy, the only weapon currently that can roll with 1-2 Punch. This perk states, Hitting an enemy with every pellet in a shot increases melee damage for a short duration. And when they say short, they mean short, because it's about one second, so you have to be ready to execute the shoot punch maneuver immediately. This perk is pretty awesome though, because it's like the inverse of Trench Barrel, where with the Ikolo shotgun you can punch and that increases your shotgun damage, except with this perk you need to shoot first, which increases your melee damage. I love it. Anything with a shooting and punching combo like Grave Robber is just my favorite thing. And just like Trench Barrel, 1-2 Punch is very, very strong. I'm still kind of salty about the nerf to Trench Barrel, but let me show you what using 1-2 Punch can add to our already really strong build. So you can see right there I did 44,119 damage and was able to literally one punch this ogre boss out of existence. But you might be saying, well that's just a lost sector boss, they're not that tough. Okay, well let me show you what this build can do to Brachus Zahn in the Nightfall with Arc Singe and Brawler on. Thank you. 
This is from One Punch by myself. But of course, we can't stop there. We need to actually perform the ultimate punch of Ultimate Destiny, so we're gonna need some help. In the exact same nightfall, I did some testing with the help of my friend running the Shoulder Charge Hammer Strike ability on Top Tree Sunbreaker and the other friend running Well of Radiance, neither of them doing any damage at all to the boss, and we were able to get this amazing clip. I wish I was able to record the party audio because the reaction was pretty great, but what you just saw was a Hunter Archstrider killing a Nightfall boss with a single melee. If that doesn't make you want to try out this build, then I don't know what will. So since it might have been a little confusing how everything worked there, I'm going to break it down. So your first goal here is to set up a times 3 stack of combination blow. To do this, I used the turrets, I punched them and then dodged and punched again, and once I had my times 3 stack, I prepared the last flame turret for my cross counter ability. Since the turret itself cannot melee me, I'll have to use my melee on it and activate cross counter myself. But since cross counter only lasts for 3 seconds, I'll have to be quick when performing the 1-2 punch. I had the titan apply the hammer strike debuff and the warlock put down the well, and then I meleeed the turret for my cross counter buff, and in that 3 second window, I was able to shoot the boss with all the pellets in my shoddy and then melee for the spectacular single punch kill. Now it sounds like a lot of steps, but that's basically because we wanted to achieve this crazy kill. But in normal play, it's a lot easier to execute since you don't have to worry about all this crazy timing. All you really need to do is stack up combination blow to times 3, which is very easily done since the buff lasts for 20 seconds and is refreshed on a charge melee kill. Then you either need to melee an enemy for the cross counter buff or get meleeed. And then you need to shoot the enemy you want to kill with your shotgun and melee them immediately before the 3 seconds of your cross counter buff runs out. You can even shoot a different enemy to proc one to punch although it can be a bit harder to do if you're not focused on the boss. On screen you'll be seeing a clip during a Gambit Prime match where I'm absolutely obliterating the boss with this combo and after we kill him and the match ends, just by using my build I was able to do more damage than any of my teammates who were using supers and their weapons. That's kind of insane. Also, just for fun, I hopped into the Last Wish raid and tested this build out against Kali, and without any Transcendent Blessing mods on, I was able to deal 423,000 damage thanks to an assist from Tractor Cannon, which is the equivalent of firing 4 Wardcliffe shots. Yeah, the power of 4 Wardcliffe coil shots is essentially in my fist. I love it. As for in PvP, Running Top Tree Arc Strider and Liar's Handshake is definitely strong, no question about it. Just cross counter alone from Liar's Handshake can deal 300 damage, allowing you to instantly kill any player not in their super, regardless of their resilience level. If you're running the 1-2 punch shotgun and Liar's Handshake, without a single stack of combination blow, you can run into a sentinel's bubble, have them melee you or melee them, and if you land all pellets from the shotgun on them, you can kill them in one follow-up punch. Cross counter plus 1-2 punch does 900 damage in PvP, so you can see how it could easily wipe out a Sentinel Titan. Cross counter without 1-2 punch will only remove the Titan's overshield here, but as soon as you add in the shotgun, it's game over. Unless you really take the Titan by surprise though, it might be hard to perform this head-on, taking the first punch from him. So your best bet is to sneak behind the Titan in his bubble, melee him, then shoot him with the shoddy and melee him again. So yeah, cross counter is super strong in PvP, and it's only amplified by combination blow and the shoddy. Overall, this build is amazing and so much freaking fun to use. I bet if you have more than one player rocking this build, you can easily punch most bosses to death. I'm honestly really excited to try this out in the Shattered Throne dungeon against Vorgeth and the Knights and Dueling Karu. I imagine they won't last very long. In the next video, I want to cover a similar build except for Titans. Thanks to the recent buff to Bottom Tree Striker, Worm God's Caress is making a comeback, and oh boy, does it allow you to do a lot of damage. But for now, what do you guys think about this build, and is it something you would use, or are you already using it? Let me know your thoughts on the one punch in the comments, and thank you very much guys for watching.